WRAL News. Coverage you can count on. If you're caught with marijuana, you might go to jail. Yet a product that contains up to 70% of the same chemical as marijuana is legal, and you can buy it at a convenience store. As WRL investigates Cullen Browder found, there's little regulation and little enforcement of who's buying it. I just want to go and get some CBD because it helps me with like anxiety. This NC State student who doesn't want to be identified takes a legal product made from hemp plants. CBD is a chemical found in marijuana, but it doesn't include THC, the psychoactive ingredient in pot. In North Carolina, you can buy CBD if you're 18. Went in, asked if they had some gummies, and they're like, yeah, I have this here. What she asked for at VIP Smoke Vape and Wireless in Raleigh isn't what she got. 30 minutes later, a meeting, and I feel like nauseous and kind of sends me in a panic attack. Here's why. She was actually given this product, what's called Delta 8 gummies, which do have THC. And my full body was just shaking and I couldn't control it. She called her dad. Like We gotta go to the ER or something because I'm, I feel awful. And so I just spent like four hours in the ER just shaking and they couldn't figure out why. The product is marked 21 and over, which she's not, and she wasn't asked for ID. We went to the store to get an explanation for the Delta 8 underage sale. The owner declined an interview, but the next day sent us this statement, which reads in part, quote, our mission is to sell only safe, high quality and enjoyable products made by reputable manufacturers. Our staff is trained to sell only to eligible purchasers. Well, we had already gone to see for ourselves when the student went back and asked for CBD. And this time she was sold THC Pop Rocks containing Delta 9, which is an even higher concentration. Again, no ID check. This is a product you're buying in a convenience store that's all but marijuana. Stories like that catch the attention of State Attorney General Josh Stein. I'm really concerned about Delta 8. And he's not alone. 18 states have already banned or heavily restricted Delta 8 products. A move in Texas to do the same is being challenged in court. And recently, the Food and Drug Administration sent out a warning about Delta 8 products. Poison control centers are seeing a surge in Delta 8 problems, with 39% involving teens under 18, and nearly one in five of those cases ending up with a trip to the hospital. We need to protect kids from these products. Stein doesn't want to ban Delta 8. In fact, he supports decriminalizing minor marijuana cases. He just wants better regulation and laws that make sense. If you're walking around the street with this product, you're gonna go to jail very same product, 70% of the same product, you can go buy it at a convenience store. I mean, it's crazy. Make sure that they're selling you what you know. This student thinks more regulation and education of clerks and consumers is needed before other teens have the experience she had. I mean, with Delta 8, it was just kind of like terrifying because I had no idea what was happening. This was so bad, like nothing I'd ever experienced before. Cullen Browder, WRAL News. Cullen adds Delta 8 is widely sold across North Carolina and used by many who've reported no problems. The main concern is confusion over how old you need to be to buy the THC products. By law, it's 18. However, most of the products say 21 and over.